I actually signed on to the job when I was 18. Um, so for the last five years, I've sort of grown up learning more and more about Mary in particular, and then in turn Elizabeth and the English court as well, and um, have sort of grown with that story over the last five years. So it's been a massive part of my life. The, the, the telling of that whole relationship was quite warped for, you know, centuries. Um, so yeah, it was, it was interesting to finally get a sort of clear insight into what actually happened. There's a real sort of support system that, that really has sort of like radically happened over the last few years in, in this like sisterhood and even in our industry. I think we feel like we're able to support each other in a way that maybe we didn't have the opportunity to before. So getting to see two women, I mean, even when I think of the likes of like Reese Witherspoon and Nicole Kidman going, you know what, let's make a TV show together. They're two women at the height of their um, power in, in, in their fields and they used it as a way to come together and make something good. And I think that that's what we're watching these two women try to do now. They've got a, a great sense of power and responsibility and there is a, a genuine um, need for them to come together in order to be stronger. And I think, you know, that's obviously a great message to send out in any film. Margot and I, it was really important to, to both of us to not see each other before this scene, because it's the only scene we have together. Um, and Margot, you know, she shot for the first three weeks of the shoot and then I came on. So her very last day was this scene and my very first day was this massive 12 page scene that we did that, you know, it was the only thing that I had been thinking about for months and months on end. And for the whole day, I'm sure you've seen it, they don't see each other when she comes into the cabin at first until that moment when there's that massive reveal. Um, and we didn't see each other until we were on camera for the first time and they shot both of our close-ups at the same time and that was the very first time throughout rehearsals and shooting and everything that we actually saw each other and saw how the other one looked. Um, so yeah, I remember when we did the first take and I looked at her and she looked at me and we both started to cry, but also sort of like convulse. We started to shake. It was so, it was, it was, it, it was just this massive moment for the characters, but also just for these two actors who, you know, were so excited to work together and had had each other in our heads the whole time. It was, it was a really emotional day. The most fun I had on set was with the girls who play the four Marys. Um, we all became really, really close. And we decided to think of ourselves as um, the Renaissance Spice Girls. So we performed Spice Girls songs, mainly wannabe, um, in our, you know, Renaissance garb and stuff. And it was always very, very funny. We'd make music videos. So yeah, we just, we had a really great time. Ba basically, I think what audiences can expect from Mary Queen of Scots is to see someone who is a ruler, is incredibly strong and um, knows how to lead, but is also vulnerable and has her insecurities and has her doubts and is human. And I think it's always really important to see someone, like anyone, anyone that we see in the public eye who has a great amount of strength, but also has a great humanity to them. And that's the only way really that you can relate to someone on screen um, is if they have their doubts. You would have me to pose a sister monarch. All I have done is try to unify this land. But they are trying to usurp my crown. But I will be the woman she is not. Should you murder me, and you murder your queen.